so this has been pretty annoying to read i'm not gonna lie this has been pretty annoying to read so i'm not sure you guys are aware but pan the record label pan was due to have a showcase event at Bergheim this past weekend august the second right and unfortunately pan had to cancel pan had to cancel their event this past weekend at Bergheim because of extensive pressure extensive pressure from people um who are basically saying that pan were enabling Bergheim silence regarding their stance um of, with the ongoing israel palestine conflict that's been happening at the moment right so essentially pan had then to cancel their show because of pressure from specifically the pages such as ravers for palestine which is pretty horrible Let's read the article regardless. Courtesy of RA. Pan Paul's Bergheim show on August the 2nd. Though the label hasn't shared a reason, a decision followed pressure from Instagram account Ravers for Palestine to boycott the Berlin club. So let's read the article. It says as follows. Berlin label Pan has pulled next week's showcase at Bergheim due to take place next Friday, August the 2nd. The party is no longer happening, according to a slide on Pan's Instagram stories. Founder Bill Colligas um, was billed to play alongside Elias Era, Bad Sister, who I'm a big fan of, CM, um, C. Frem, um, Nun, who's that? Hey, spell it. Nun Guja and RHR. RA has reached out to Pan and Bergheim for comment. Though Pan hasn't shared a reason, the decision was made yesterday, July 25th, roughly an hour after Ravis for Instagram shared a lengthy post imploring Pan to listen to the community and respect the boycott. Um, the post also mentioned that Kuligas had signed a strike for Germany's widely circulated pledge, which caused the international culture workers to boycott German culture institutes such as Bergheim in light of their suppression of Palestinian and pro-Palestinian voices following October 7th. In addition to the strike Germany caused, Ravis of Palestine has singled out Bergheim because of an incident involving an artist, Arabian Panther, in January. The French Lebanese DJ accused the club of cancelling a performance due to his support of Palestine. Earlier this week, an Irish DJ, DJ Katit, pulled her, their own gig at Panorama Bar this weekend. It's not acceptable for a venue to stay so silent in the face of genocide i want to make the boycott public and hope that it will make other artists reconsider playing there so that's the official cancellation from the pan instagram page there you see pan underscore underscore hq it's got the event on friday it's no longer gonna happen me personally i fucking hate this i hate this pressure and this almost bullying tactics platforms like ravers of palestine are putting on certain people to not play at Bergheim because this isn't founded on anything it's founded on weak 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 foundations because the reason why pan or the reason why ravens for palestine has such a boner against Bergheim and people that are playing there guess what because they ever made a statement not because of that arabian panther guy that arabian panther guy is a little bit of a loon anyway and allegedly from what i've been reading between the lines of stuff i've been able to gather online most of the reason why he had his gig cancelled at Bergheim is because he's a pain in the ass and partly because he was legitimately co-signing some of the actions by hamas right which no one is condoning in any way shape or form um you can still say free palestine you can still regard what's happening in palestine as a genocide you can still be very anti-israel without flipping condoning what hamas is doing that's just a step too far now he didn't think so and now it's being kind of painted in the direction as if Bergheim is anti-palestine and pro-israeli whatever it may be i find that Bergheim's refusal to actually have a stance and come out and say something to be a good thing to go about i don't think clubs um entertainment platforms whatever they may be should have any political leanings maybe the people that appear on there if you have if you're politically motivated and you want to share a particular take you are free to do so but i don't think the platform should be required to have a stance you know what i'm saying so everybody should be allowed to play at Bergheim, whether you're a zionist whether you're pro-palestinian it doesn't matter if you have something to say and you want to say it through the sets that you're playing or some attire that you're wearing, fair play. But Bergheim shouldn't be forced into having a position just to appease you. Because if they do, they're going to piss off a whole group of other people who don't agree with what you have to say. Then what? I thought club culture and I thought clubs in general were meant to be a quote-unquote safe space where we could kind of forget about the worries of our everyday lives and kind of enjoy this quasi-utopia where we could kind of forget about our lives and create new memories as we're dancing on the dance floor. Isn't that what it's supposed to be about? Why are we now turning these safe spaces away from, from all the craziness of the outside world into platforms and avenues that we can kind of reflect our politics onto? 
Like, I don't necessarily want that personally for me. Obviously, it's advantageous. Obviously, it's, it's probably a good thing if the part you're into, promotion, club, maybe has the same viewpoints and outlook on the world as you do. But specifically for me, when I go to clubs, when I see DJs play, I'm there for the music. I'm there to get fucked up. I'm there to drink. I'm there to do drugs, meet new people, swap Instagram handles and have a fucking good time. I'm not there to fucking find out, you know, what political leanings this pot this club has, what party they voted for, who they are fans of, you know, in terms of uh, um, political opinions and philosophers and whatever it may be. I don't give a fuck about all that shit. I'm there for the club for what it's meant to be there for, an avenue, a platform for where you can kind of congregate and celebrate with a bunch of people from all over the world, all different colors, all different sexual orientations, all types of outlooks, all types of, you know, um, ways of lives and up bringing this and stuff and we all have this common goal this common kind of interest that we all share which is the music it's never there's nothing ever better in my opinion than going to a club somewhere and bumping into an older couple and you both there to see the same dj you're fucking 19 this couple's 47 and you're both into the same fucking dj that's fucking cool you both come from completely different flipping walks of life different backgrounds but you all have a common interest which is the dj which is the fucking club promotion which is the club itself that's fucking beautiful that's one of the best things about clubbing and probably one of the best things about Berghain and berlin club culture in general is that kind of mix right it's not just full of like tiktok techno kids which is not a bad thing but i think overall even a club like rso berlin has a good fucking mix of people as opposed to maybe in london where like a lot of the club lights are sort of like each club that has its own kind of type of crowd and type of age range as there's not really much of a mix maybe the only mix you really get is in fold and even that is dependent on the night you go to either way i hate the pressure and i hate this kind of forcing particular people to take a certain stances because essentially this is mostly hurting the artist some people on that lineup especially pan i think pan do a really good job of obviously highlighting people that they put out records for but also just friends associates who probably would never get a chance to play because that's the thing i think they do really well burger and they give promotions and record labels a chance to do these showcases and these nights that then give those people a chance to book people who would probably never be able to play burger like imagine there's probably people who've played panorama bar who probably don't even have that many gigs in their local town but they get to play in this amazing club and that then gets them in front of certain people maybe it lets them get better representation maybe it lets them get more fans it gets their social media up that might increase their money whatever it can literally change people's lives and you're just destroying that and taking that away because Bergheim doesn't want to put up a free palestine post or something i would much rather see most clubs most online dj streaming platforms wherever they may be have no opinion I don't agree with what Hoare did. I think what Hoare did was absolutely re reprehensible. You can't be having people playing on there and then removing their scarves, taking off their flags, their t-shirts. That's fucking stupid. That's fucking crazy. But your platform should be, in my opinion, apolitical. Let people say what they want, either side in, because I think a lot of the thing as well, a lot of these, especially pro-Palestinian people, they're not very open to the other side, regardless of how dumb and inane it can be. But if you want to say free Palestine, you also have to be okay with you know people who are maybe pro-israeli being proud and loud about flying the flag and making excuses for whatever their government's doing at the moment that should be how it is if you can say what you want they can say what they want it should be around that cause anyway going back to the post that actually forced pan to cancel their night at burger and here it is it's courtesy of an account which is anonymous called ravers of palestine which probably might be linked to bins of teshno who knows either way this anonymous account has been doing a lot of good work i think in general but i think this stuff that they're starting to do where they're starting to fucking pressure certain people to have a stance or to boycott and all this sort of stuff is beyond bad i don't like this at all this is going a bit too far in my personal opinion i could be wrong but this is what i think so courtesy of various of palestine they put this post up it says open letter to pan don't abandon palestine respect the boycott which is fucking dumb because the boycott isn't across the board that's the boycott that they've decided to do your boycott isn't my boycott and also i don't agree with the reason why you're doing it in the first place it's fucking dumb um it continues um this week many were surprised and dismayed to see the label pan promoting an event at Berghain in breach of the boycott <laughs> in breach of the boycott you know as if you tell people what to do like fuck off like even if i did agree with you the fact that you're trying to tell me what to do 
like the fact that you're trying to control how i react to things or where i go where i play especially nowadays like especially now coming out of a fucking pandemic and everything else with the world being as topsy-turvy as it is and gigs probably being few and far between taking away people's opportunities to play at such a historic club just because the club didn't come out and specifically say what side of the line that they sit on it's absolutely reprehensible i think so personally but again what do i know we have tried to contact pan about this for several weeks and this has not worked we are obliged to make this appeal publicly pan this event risks undermining the collective action for the boycott which our community effort is to end the genocide please listen to the community and respect the boycott i find it also pretty egregious and pretty just i don't know if it's egomaniacal but whatever it is these people actually think boycotting a nightclub is going to end the genocide they honestly think that they honestly think if you boycott a club uh rate dj mixing live streaming platform that that's going to somehow influence the decision of the israeli government like excuse me to stop fucking sending missiles and fucking bombing innocent civilians and shit as they go and pick up aid and shit that isn't how it works like i think they're putting way too much importance on the role that clubs and dance music in general plays in global politics again i could be wrong but i think you are overestimating your influence and your impact in this regard and the energy is being directed in a wrong place but i could be wrong it continues pan's label nights are not just any event in Berghain. this label is one of the most renowned platforms for underground music for the global majority um, and beyond its roster includes artists like arca yaves timor and earth eater <laughs> i love that they covered all all i love that they covered all sectors in it they covered all parts of representation there innit? everyone represented right there if you know you know we know pan understands the importance of boycotts its founder has signed the strike germany pledge committing to boycotting all german state-funded institutions including Berghain, Pan crosses the picket line in spite of this and helps Berghain launder um, its reputation via associations with underground global majority artists. It's absolutely, I think you're allowed to sign that strike pledge to maybe lend weight to the pledge itself and still put on a night at Berghain and not be seen like you're crossing the picket line. Come on, bro. Let's be serious. Let's be fucking real. Let's be fucking real. Because you boycott the club, then what? Everybody that works there. So is Bravest for Palestine going to not only support the people who go without playing there monetarily for the boycott are you also going to support all the workers that work there there must be what from a guess over 100 people that work at Bergheim probably probably over 100 you're going to support them too come on man fuck off it continues Bergheim's refusal to take accountability for the deplatforming of arab and black artists is an urgent threat to political expression solidarity in our culture by the way i don't even think this is even true where's the evidence that Bergheim has deplatformed numerous black and arab um what you call it artists because of their expression online regarding supporting palestine most of it i felt like has been mostly the pro hamas stuff you know being pro hamas online and then being and then kind of the consequences of that being that you kind of lose gigs shouldn't be surprising you can't be fucking condoning the actions of a terrorist group no matter how just their causes and you know whatever it may be you just can't like what do you expect's gonna happen come on bro holding an event where there are holding an event there while the boycotts demands are uh, an unmet sends a sent mess so holding an event there while the boycotts demands are unmet sends a message that colonial practices are acceptable within clubland as well as other cultural spheres what 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 does that even mean what does that word salad even mean colonial practices are acceptable within clubland Bergheim are colonizers now huh also it raises the cost of solidarity for many djs mainly black brown and queer who are standing with per palestine through this boycott I, I love how they're suggesting that all black brown and queer people are pro-palestinian are pro-palestine which is probably not true it's just you know just a broad stroke like every minority is pro-palestine is ridiculous but w so what even if that was the case what does that have to do with anything it's absolutely insane it continues right now in palestine millions have faced imminent extermination at the hands of a genocidal settler colony as a european collective centered on the music of the global majority pan has a particular responsibility to resist and challenge this like bro they just want to put out some cool records man they want to put on some fun parties allow artists who aren't necessarily getting the 
cut getting the fucking you know chances and the and the president you know and the platforms that they deserve to play you know maybe inspiring clubbers and you know potential artists and creators themselves to do cool things by attending their parties and shit spreading a message or whatever they're trying to push far and wide that's all they're trying to do it's just a fucking rave it's not that deep by publicly withdrawing this event pan would massively increase pressure on bergheim to meet the boycott's two modest demands for an apology and a call to fuss they want bergheim to apologize for what to arab parrot or oh, oh, Arab Parrot, whoever his name is, Arab Panther, because he decided to be fucking, you know, he decided to fucking condone and champion some of the actions of Hamas on his social media and then was surprised when a very commercial club like Bergheim decided, you know what, we can't be having you playing at our club. What did you expect? Fuck around and find out, innit? Due to Bergheim's institutional weight, such as an outcome would immediately and significantly increase cultural pressure for an end to the genocide. Honestly, honestly, honestly. It continues, Pan, do not let your knight and the mainly global majority art, I, I don't even know what these words mean, majority art, like what? Like, is, is, that, is majority uh, like another way not to say white? Anyway, global majority artists book to play it be co-opted into normalizing genocide occupations. Yo, so if you play at Bergheim, you're normalizing genocide. You're advocating for occupation. You're endorsing censorship. <laughs> this is so fucking redacted this is so fucking redacted r-worded what the hell if underground music can cannot unite to resist a genocide is it worthy of its name is underground music meant to unite to oppress a genocide is that what the purpose of underground music is or is it just underground music the opposite of mainstream music is it just like if mainstream music is all polished and made on a million machines with a million people, underground music is just one person on a fucking shitty Chromebook banging out beats and trying to make their dreams happen from their modest, you know, dwellings, right? To a crowd of people that maybe aren't into the, you know, major commercial shit. You know, like, it's in the name. I, I didn't know underground, you know, explicitly had to do with you being politically active and opposing genocide and occupation and censorship and flying the flag of underground was was akin to you flying the flag of antifa or something like what huh if under <laughs> um it's not too late to do the right thing the community will support you if you change course and many artists who withdraws can be supported via the strike fund again what like <sighs> it's a shame that pan listened to such a vocal minority because i think the majority of people don't give a fuck the majority of people do their political um have their political opinions or sayings on their own platforms maybe when they go on a night out they might wear their free palestine shirt they might share some things on their social media presence but i don't think most people give a fuck i don't think most people give a fuck about their clubs that they go to and whether or not they're overtly pro or pro israeli or pro palestine i don't think a lot of people think that they don't think that way a lot of people are not that dumb but I think there are a very strong vocal, no, a very loud vocal minority who are out here trying to make it seem as if going to a particular club is akin to you advocating and kind of endorsing the war in fucking Palestine or the genocide that's occurring in Palestine at the moment. So I guess there's certain people, just think about it out loud, there must be people out there who are purposely not even sharing the fact that they're attending raves at fucking um, Bergheim because they're afraid of getting cancelled because people on their social media presence might feel like they're endorsing um the rate they're endorsing the genocide they're advocating for the censorship and the occupation and all this kind of malarkey they're crossing the picket line like can you imagine how redacted that is as a grown adult you're letting some strangers online dictate where and when you club and how you club and what you share and what you don't share can you absolutely can you can you believe that an absolute nonsense absolute nonsense um i feel for pan i don't feel like they deserved it i feel like just by their presence and the fact that they book certain people and they try their best to highlight a lot of like you know unheard of or maybe smaller artists who are maybe on the come up doing cool interesting things creating some cool interesting music coming from all different types of backgrounds that should be the form of protest that should be people actually going out there doing their thing but they don't they are advocating for pan to you know boycott Bergheim, but they're also in a way telling us that there's only one way to protest there's only one way to boycott 
there's only one way to kind of deal with kind of trying to you know figure out what's going on over there in Palestine and trying to make it come to an end with some sort of ceasefire and that is by doing it the way that they're doing it that's the only right way to do it any other way doesn't work because they decided to do so it's like come on man get out of here i hope most djs out there don't listen to this sort of shit if you want to protest you can but you can do it by still playing and still kind of doing your own thing um that needs to be done as well you shouldn't be fucking you know rid ridding yourself or denying yourself the opportunity to play at such a historic place especially considering that you never know when that chance could ever come back around just to appease like people online who have this warped idea that raving and clubs in general have gonna play any kind of big role in ending a very complicated, complex, long with stand, long standing um, war um, that unfortunately has resulted in a genocide at this particular moment. But it's just there's just so much going on there, and to think that a club or not going to a certain nightclub or a certain nightclub saying certain things is going to lend itself or lead to a ceasefire is really, really redacted. It's up there with those people that go around spraying fucking buildings with orange paint and shit, right? Those climate activists and stuff. It's like, bro, that's, I don't think that's, it's obviously well done for the attention. It's getting the attention that you need, but I don't think it's going to actually result or it's going to kind of get to the conclusion that you want it to get to. You get into some attention, but the actual end goal isn't probably what you think it's going to be. And I think the same applies to Ravens of Palestine because it almost feels like they are forcing people to protest in a particular way. And unless you protest in that particular way, then you're an op, you're an enemy, you should be chastised and publicly ridiculed online. And I think it's absolutely deplorable. I really, really do. I'm actually curious to see what the people say in the comments. Am I the only one that thinks this way? Let me see in the comments what they're saying here. Because I feel like this is kind of this is kind of mean spirited and almost akin to bullying. Let's hear what people say. Um, this person says, still don't understand how Western club culture for boycotting it is supposed to contribute to peace in the Middle East. Exactly what I said. Actually, quite presumptuous to think that it makes any difference for people in Gaza which club or party you get wasted at. Exactly. Exactamente. What do people reply to that? What do people say here? Um, they sleep better feeling more important that if there were no boycott they only care about that exactly virtue signaling why would they try so hard to shut down bds if it wasn't affected by them why would starbucks and mcdonald's be citing record losses due to boycotts globally proper decay oh shut up um it continues i support pan at Bergheim. this whole affair is nothing substantial Bergheim platform appropriate uh, artists multiple times except ultra radical voices arabian para exactly many a people who have been Politu being kind of very vocal on either side have been have played there. That Arabian Parrot guy, from what I can see online, is a bit unhinged and he goes a little bit too hard. Now, he's able to do what he wants. I'm all for going hard and being unhinged and being a bit of a crazy person because I am one myself. But you can't expect to be advocating, co signing for, condoning, co signing, supporting, championing the actions of Hamas and then thinking you're going to be okay to play a burger. Like, come on, use your, use your head. Another person, how exactly does this quasi-religious council culture zeal help your cause? Blackmailing organizations to make a statement that you want to be heard. Is that that? Yes, exactly. Another great statement for this person. Blackmailing organizations to make a statement that you want to be heard is just another form of censorship. It's not like the Israeli army would care or listen. Instead, you're just dividing people over an issue they have no control over, playing into the hands of people who will then capitalize on the division and push extreme political forces into the power. That will be the true result of your actions and also more hate and confrontation in this world. A fucking men. A fucking men. It is a form of blackmail, of course. And you're also forcing them to say, like, it's not even like it's trying to you're forcing for a response to have a conversation to discuss what the right way is to do things it's like no you're forcing them to say something and to have a stance but the stance can only be your stance and if it's not your stance they have to apologize and also call for a ceasefire who are they apologizing for who are they apologizing to why should they apologize to you why are you owed an apology anonymous account like why, why should they apologize to you fuck off it continues. Um, update. Pan appears to have withdrawn the night. Yeah, well done. Another one. According to the Merriam Webster Dictionary, the definition of world uh, of genus. Okay, this person's talking shit. Please know that very many people like me from outside Germany have suspended our summer techno pilgrimage to Berlin over this issue. Okay, 
Congrats to you, woman. Let's give you a pat on the back. Another one says, People who are keen to play at this venue again without betraying collective's action should apply pressure on Bergheim to meet the two boycott demands. Honestly, asking for an apology from a nightclub because they didn't respond quickly or say the thing that you want is absolutely retarded. Like, honestly. Give your head a wobble. Another person. Is it actually confirmed that Bergheim is actually state-funded? I was also disappointed to see that Reef Berlin put on a party there last weekend. Great, much-needed incentive. However, call for a ceasefire was relevant in the winter, perhaps. It still is. But this divestment from the genocide, dismantling of the colonial entity, and full boycott of Israel... Um, it is Israel is hilarious, and any artist institution which do not condone Israel's existence until then should be added to the list of demands. List honestly, <laughs> Instagram pages having a list of demands for clubs <laughs> is fucking hilarious. Um, maybe tag POC artists in the label to pressure from within. I have checked their artist roster and I've seen only white art. <laughs> now now we're now we're chastising pan because they don't they don't platform artists who like oh come on bro you can never make these people happy if you are platforming if you're a label like pan that covers a huge swath of genres and backgrounds you have to make sure the genres and backgrounds you're covering are also racially diverse in skin tone so if they're not you know if they all look white but they're all from different countries that doesn't count they have to be all mixed like that that's when it's multicultural okay got it another one genuine question whoever the arabian parrot has ever taken off the lineup have any artists publicly said that they were boycotting let's see what the reply is saying palestinian dj sama abdullahidi but did she advocate for hamas i'm not too sure about that when and when and where they were taken another one says while israel's actions of the war against gaza should be condemned i don't see why a club or any country like germany should be responsible for that mm. the german thing is a little bit touchy because you know there are links to germany including arms and guns and shit and weapons we don't want to get into that it's a bit too you know <laughs> it's a bit too peaky but you know i haven't seen any calls to boycott against the u.s which supports israel even more still as a raver and especially as a queer person i'm pretty happy that there are free societies where raves are being queer are normal in palestine this was never normal being queer is probably life-threatening there yeah cool that's how it is um ravers ravers for palestine decent page when it needs to be but sometimes when it does all this sort of stuff it's fucking lame and i feel bad for pan for having to cancel their event because of this page's you know demands and wanting them to respond in a certain way but i guess it is what it is i guess it is what it blood clot is